Why, hello everyone. Welcome back to Playframe and Banjo Kazooie and Grunty's Lair. And Grunty's portrait in Grunty's Lair. The more you look at it, like, <laughs> <laughs> imagining different things. It's, you know what it reminds me of? Huh. Like a, uh, a Nickelodeon mascot. If you kind of just like, <laughs> like Stick Stickly. Do you remember a Stick Stickly? Stick Stickly. That's a familiar name. I can't. It was just a little popsicle stick with like a, uh, a little yeah. Muppet nose. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's kind of giving me that. But like, instead of Stick Stickly as a stick, it's a like a uh, misshapen pickle. <laughs> Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> uh, anyway, Dan's controlling again, because uh, he's up. I'm up. His, his world is next. Yeah, so how many? We finished four? We yes. Four. We, yeah, 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 yeah. We've finished four. Oh, that's good. Mumbo's Mountain, Treasure Trove Cove, Clanker's Cavern, and Bubble Gloop Swamp. I'll just grab that. Since and I was just sitting there. Picked it right up. That was one of them there, them grunty switches. <laughs> I do love, I don't know what, like, kid me for whatever reason, never really thought too hard about the fact that there's so much just of grunty in the art in her, in her own space. Yeah. And I'm really enjoying that fact now as an adult. I guess now that I have the power to decorate spaces and I'm kind of recognizing that as a choice. <laughs> that, is, that is a choice you can make as a person. <laughs> and, and, and... You know, maybe Grunty's just lonely. She needs it. Well, she's got Klongo. That's true. Klongo's right there at her beck and call. She's mm -hmm. got minions, cauldrons that have faces and talk. I think one of these is a... This guy. Oh. Mm -hmm. My next world is the hardest yet, and you will fail on that, Ooh. I'll bet. You want to you see something cool, Dan? Yes. Yes, I do. So, um... One of the grunty switches, uh -huh. I believe in Gobi's Valley, opens up um, this this little uh, uh, sarcophagus here and Ooh. reveals a jiggy. What? Yeah. The fun thing, though. No way. Hang on. I believe it'll happen. Can't go to the desert until we get this thing. Oh, I wonder. This wouldn't have been something that they'd have like patched out, right? Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I know you can definitely, definitely do it. Okay. I so 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 love that you can start that bounce off of the pad, like yeah, boing like that. That feels so cool to do. Ah, oh. I'm googling this. I I know you can do it. I'm curious if the like jiggy is even loaded, but I guess it would have to be, right? Because I assume, yeah. I don't even know how it would have gone back then. Let's see. All right. Banjo Kazooie. Googling Banjo Kazooie and sarcophagus together feels wild. All right. Uh, coffin jiggy. That's another word you could use. Less fun, but. Oh, it's like I, I've done this before. <laughs> it's so tempting. All right. Wow, it looks like they're not even using a move to do this. They just hopped up and they're there. It's like right into the nose. Here, right into the nose? Yeah, like, all right. Okay, okay. This instant okay. got it. It could be it's not loaded yet. For some reason. Like. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Like the other alternative I could see being like maybe if you enter Gobi or unlock Gobi Desert first, maybe it'll appear. That's that's true. Okay, maybe let's let's just let's, let's try it. it. Let's test things. Have we opened it? Oh, we haven't even opened it. It's just sitting there in that big old tree. Where the Picture both of us sitting yeah, here trying that? to remember where the heck's the painting for this one. <laughs> where is that painting? Is it glad there's some stuff you don't 100% remember all the time because there's lots of I don't know my way around this castle nearly as well as I used to. 
It's because we're on camera now. <laughs> that we're, is we're being recorded. definitely a factor. Maybe it's over here. I think it might be over here. That'd be kind of wild, huh? Tootie's fate is looking grim. It's because her brother's dim. Hurtful, but rhymy, and I appreciate that. Yeah. Not very nice, grunty. No. But rhymy. I want to say rhythmic, but that's not it. Like, um, rhythmic is a different thing. Maybe and rhymy is the closest alternative I can come up with. Rhymy. <laughs> How rhymy of you. Ooh. There is a Brentilda there. Can get some more hurtful information. Yeah. What do you got? The disgusting Gruntilda has tadpoles on toast for breakfast. I, you know, I've not tried it, so I can't really <laughs> I knock like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> then she usually has slug stew for dinner. Yuck. All right, you know, slugs are eaten in places. Escargot is pretty delicious. Wart bags, then finishes with eyeball ice cream for dessert. Okay, that one. That one's kind of gross. Yeah, I'm kind of with you on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Could, yeah, let's judge. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt <laughs> on those first two. That third one, though, is pretty, uh... Have you had escargot? I never have. Oh, yeah. Yeah? It's delish. Aw. I mean, it's, it's one of those things, it's like... You, you take food and you put enough butter and garlic on it, <laughs> it's gonna be good. Um, that, you know, growing up in the South, that has always proven to be true. It's kind of, I feel like the equivalent of having like, um... There it is. Nice. What's... Is it Z? <laughs> I don't, yeah, it's, yeah, okay. we, it's been a month since we recorded Banjo-Kazooie, so sorry if our muscle memory mm -hmm. on buttons is a little off. Yeah. Which is, okay, it's, it's always bothered me, so... In the game that Banjo Kazooie that we're playing, uh -huh. uh, you can press Z to put all the puzzle pieces in at once instead yeah. of one at a time, like the game starts you doing. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you can't do that until they tell you you can do that. Yeah. And that's always one of those things in video games that frustrates me. I was, I felt like there was a 60% chance that the second half of the sentence was going to be a Banjo Kazooie complaint. <laughs> I was kind of waiting for it. <laughs> this time, this time. How can I relate this to Banjo to me? Let's see. I'm sure there's a way. Uh, come on. Hmm. Maybe they that is yeah, that is odd. Maybe maybe it's changed in this because yeah, you can normally just like just touch it and you just get it. You just get it. I bet they patched it. Oh, one more try. Oh, oh yeah, give it final try. One more go. Yeah, come on. Give. We want it. Hmm. Very odd. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess we'll actually just have to get it the normal vanilla way. Like basic people. Boring. Yeah. You get to go to a desert, That's though. That's it. I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> this is my desert room. Look out for the quicksand. Not quicksand. Regular sand. Sand with eels. Sand eels. Oh, Rintel's here. Hey, Gosh, more gossip. We just can't get rid of her. <laughs> it's like, I got more dirt. <laughs> Grunty's best friend at witch school was the awful Fatty Hattie. That's that's just rude. That, that's hurtful on several yeah. <laughs> axes, I feel. One, you're making fun of Gruntilda for having a friend. <laughs> you're, you're making fun of the friend yeah. as well. And I can't tell if you're like, if that name was mockery, if that's just her name. In either case, yeah, it was the tone of voice you said it in. Yeah, I, Brentel is the worst. <laughs> I really don't like her. When relaxing, she usually reads Big Butts and Guts magazine. Uh, uh, you're just judging. Yeah, you know, <laughs> she's an adult. While sipping a glass of her favorite cold worm juice. Oh, that that was the thought. Oh, you poor dears, your energy is low. <laughs> Stepped on those sand eels. They'll get you. I got this skirt, so when I'm thinner, it really makes me look a winner. <laughs> That's good true. For, good for you. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, jeez. Oh, let's talk about something. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, there's a move here and a Jinjo. Jinjo get. And some good tunes. Let's talk to this little friend here. What do you got to say, hey, buddy? Hey, look at this tree. 
<laughs> Trunker Ooh. wants rain. I'm shriveling up. <laughs> Kazooie, come on. <laughs> that was a silly question, Banjo. Yeah. I mean, it's all he's got. It's true. Normally, it, normally it passes, and it's like, oh, okay, yeah, you wanted, you wanted eggs, right? How's this tree surrounded by water? He needs, he needs long lips, Dan. <laughs> Give that tree some long lips, or a straw, or roots. I don't know. There's this cool clip you can do. I have no idea how to do it, so I'm not even gonna try because it it's scary. But like, it involves going around this backside Ooh. and like into the the eel sand. Yeah. Um, and then like you clip through the. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like you do it and then you clip through the floor and then. I guess that's speedrunning 101. You just, you just you just do it. <laughs> you just do it, and it works. Suddenly, it's been done. <laughs> Actually, I want to grab those notes. I've never really looked up how... Like, I know there's people out there who, in addition to speedrunning, just, like, study and search through the games trying to find new tricks and tech and stuff like that. Like, I've always wondered how those things get found. How do you find those clips? Yeah. Do you just spend three days on this one building trying to do every move from every angle? Or like, it's it's got to be like. So I, I one aspect that I've come to understand uh -huh. from it, and again, this is coming from someone who is not at all a <laughs> speedrunner. Sure. Um, is like, okay, here is a you know thing we've routed out for the game, uh, and it takes fifteen minutes. If we could somehow figure out how mm. to skip this wall or something, we could cut that down to five. So it's like it's looking for a problem or like a uh, a big time barrier. Like, is there any? So it's it's with focus. It's not just randomly checking everything. It's like this is a problem that if we could find any solution, yeah. there's got we got to find something. I feel like that is definitely uh, the the start of a lot of things. That makes a lot of sense. Also, I think you can hit both noses. Really. If you're just... Yeah! I think you did it! Hey, that pickles. Oh, oh, don't do that. You're clearing congestion with eggs. There we go! <laughs> Look at that time save. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that cleared Jinxie's nose. Come on in. Come on in. I love these guys. I do too. This is so much better than... Wall masters. Yeah. <laughs> Just a hand. I, I see eye to eye with these guys, you know? <laughs> they're on my level, which is to say they're ground. Literally. <laughs> uh, Dan and I were talking before the episode about, like, obviously we both want more Banjo-Kazooie games, and we feel that now that Rare is swimming in that Sea of Thieves money, now is the perfect time. And also, it doesn't even have to be, like, a big budget thing. If they released, if they Mega Man 9'd it, and released a Banjo 3E with these graphics in this graphic style, honestly, I'd be even more excited. Yep. <laughs> like, heck yeah. It would be like an immediate purchase for me. Uh, no hesitation. Same. Absolutely. I, I don't need to see any any gameplay or anything. Give me give me like a teaser trailer of a title and I, and I buy it. Like that is uh, the very rare case of me just being like, you have my blind support. Yeah, and, and that's coming from a guy who has been burned hard by 50% of this existing series. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's weird, like, I still love that Banjo 2 exists. Just because it's like, I love Banjo and Kazooie. Like, yeah, I love it? them. I, I don't enjoy that game, <laughs> but it's still like, even not liking Banjo 2 I'm still having a good time because I'm controlling Banjo and Kazooie, right? Yeah. If I ever play Banjo Tooie, I feel like it will need to be on this channel probably, and I feel it'll feel wrong if you're not present. I don't think you need to play. Oh, <laughs> I'll be I fine won't. playing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna watch and judge. Yeah, and that's. <laughs> that's and what and I not need you, for, though. the game. I oh, will no, do. no. <laughs> Maybe you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly the game, like Mostly 90 game. 10 <laughs> game to you judgment. <laughs> it's just, it, it's like, okay, the equivalent of, um, you know, like, being a kid and having a fun toy mm -hmm. 
and and playing on your favorite playground and then you go to a new playground mm. well, there, there's like nothing to do there but you still get your favorite toy and like i can you know i can imagine something fun here with yeah. my imagination yeah my brain can work with this but i'd rather be at the playground that's fun yep yep i can understand that oh what are you gonna get the running shoes we got the running shoes those are great i love the little animation on them just so Isn't simple cute? cute yeah I like that it's different from the boots, too. The boots are hopping back there in the background. The running shoes are doing a little circle run. A little circle. What a good game. So now that, you know, we didn't want to reveal because spoilers. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, now that we have that, we could have done that crocodile mini game from the last episode, <sighs> but you were super fast. That so, like, that's, that's that how you're normally supposed to do it, but that we're helped. just pros at games. Yeah, we wanted to show you how good we were, which is why we spent half of an episode on that mini exactly. game. Yeah. And now you know how exactly how good we are. You're welcome. Checkmate people who say <laughs> things that we're not good at games. <laughs> yeah, I see you. We do. None of your comments go without notice. None of them. Literally, because I moderate them. <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope. Don't do that, Banjo. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sand deals are eaten tonight. Oh, so I'll show you guys this. Uh, I'm, I'm, there's a lot of instances in this game that I'm just like, oh, you know, I want to do the fast route because I know the slow route. Yeah. Just because I played the game so many times. Uh, but like, this guy. Oh, he's got a he's, he's got a G. Let's go get the G. <gasps> oh, he got away. Bear's too, too slow. slow. Nur nur nur. <laughs> So yeah, so you get the shoes to go get it. But uh, I was like, ah, I'm gonna show you, you know, you, you learn that, hey, that's, how am I gonna get that dang jiggy? You can also get it by flying on top of it. That but, makes sense. Uh, I, I played through this, like, in the past few months, and, uh, tried to do some speedrun things that I've, I've just been watching speedrunners play this game lately. Yeah. Um, how to go. Me doing it poorly um, <laughs> for the speedrunners, it goes great. <laughs> yeah, they've, they've had a lot. It's of like luck. they do it a lot. Yeah. Get the go. <laughs> Professional speedrunner. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, you're gonna get eaten by eels. Jua Got it. Snatch. No. I've had that a thousand years. Thousand years. Well done, Bortle. <laughs> a thousand years, and it's just gone like that. A dang fast bear. You should thank you. Like, now it can hold stuff. Yeah. He can start that, you know, uh, novel he's been thinking about writing. <laughs> pick up that pencil, buddy. Yeah, pick up that pen. Hand it's starting. <laughs> Stop letting your dreams just be dreams. Hand. Hand. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, I've had that conversation with my own hands, so... Yeah. <laughs> do something. Just do it. I know you can draw. Just put the hand to the paper with the pencil. Create. There was a part of this level that I still, like... I remember it scared me as a kid, so that kind of, like, lingering fear carries over. Yeah, you know? I think I know exactly what part you're talking. And same. And I'm glad I'm not playing it. <laughs> I'll have my own problems next level. But for now, yeah. easy street yeah, for I'm, me. I'm ready to kick back <clears throat> when you start that level. <laughs> <laughs> this little guy I always miss right here. There's this little ginger. Oh, I didn't even there. see you there. He's sneaky. just high and he's a sneaky lad. Ooh. Ooh, hazardous. Hey, Dan, I, got a, I got a question for you. Yeah. It's, it's uh... I'm actually considering now if I've probably asked you this question before in mm -hmm, the past, mm -hmm. but it's it's a pretty <clears throat> it's a pretty serious topic. All okay? right, I'm listening. Why do they call it an oven when you oven the cold food all about hot eat the food? <laughs> I'm gonna need you to run that by me again, but slower. <laughs> Why do they call it oven when you oven the cold food of out hot eat the food? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I feel. <laughs> oh, it's just a dumb meme, but it's like one of my favorite things to say because it's just it just gives you a headache. Like yeah. you hear it and you just 
it it's so nonsensical and you want to make sense of it because <laughs> you can almost understand what's trying to be said. Yeah, no, I feel like I need to reboot my brain because like something it's yeah. not it's not opening the file right. So <laughs> It's just like the uh, uh, like <laughs> dial-up uh, internet yeah. sound. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it did feel like I blew, blew screen for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Look at you go. It's so fun. It's, it's like just quick enough where you're still in like pretty good control. Yeah. And it feels really nice to go fight us. Whoa. We don't need to fly, Dan. What? Gonna have to need to fly for that one, though, right? Yeah. Surely. <laughs> so I think every time you go in a loading zone uh -huh. in this area, um, <clears throat> that one is the, like, first one to spawn back. Oh, yeah? So technically, I think you can do that over and over, like, five times oh. to get that jiggy. That's kind of cool. I didn't know. I thought you had to hit all of them. I, I thought you did as well. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, little things I learned about. I thought... Okay. I thought that, um... The little uh, Gobi there on the side. Oh, yeah? I thought his model changed like the further you got away to be like Ooh. really simple, but I think he's just a little simple lad. <laughs> I think he's just simple. He's just a simple friend. And hungry. Hunger. For eggs. Have a little eat. <laughs> it rises. Oh, what a good old time. Oh, I, w I was saying to Dan earlier, I, I feel like we had maybe this conversation as well. Um, of favorite theme outside of Click Clock Wood. It's probably mm. this one for me. Yeah, this is a good one. Fun fact here. This flight pad, you don't need to know Bottle's flight move to use. Really? Yeah, because uh, obviously you'd be trapped down here. Yeah, mm -hmm. all right, I guess that makes sense. That's kind of cool. A little, little, little fun nugget. I for never would have known that too, because like, why on earth would you go to Treasure Trove Cove without learning to do to do a fly? And there's the bees. Better run. Okay, we're. I hate these little guys. They they like they're snipers, man. <laughs> they're so good. Well, too good. It's just fun. It's just a fun little bop. It's really catchy. Yeah, I feel like mine might be and I might have said this last time too. I think just the straight up like just the lair theme. Oh, lair theme is very good. It's yeah, it's, it's hard to beat that. How did that not eat? Eat the egg. There okay, he go. did. He, I just didn't hear the sound. <clears throat> what is it about the second a mic is in front of my face and I'm like, I gotta clear my throat <laughs> 80 times. Maybe just like more aware. Yeah. Oh, I'm kind of the same way. Maybe just, just don't talk a lot when I'm not in front of a mic. <laughs> I try not to when I'm not in front of a mic. I don't talk very much. Usually at the end of a recording day because I like try to record a week's worth of play frame in one day. My throat is very sore and worn out. Yeah. Doubly so if the game doesn't have voice acting but lots of dialogue. Like, the Final Fantasy IX effect <laughs> for you, basically. Mm hmm It was Okami for me. Yeah, Okami had a lot of... That one hurt. A lot of talking. I yeah, recently started playing 10, and I'm like, oh, it's so nice I can just sit back during cutscenes and listen to them <laughs> talk. Uh, who's your favorite character in 10 so far? <laughs> this is King Sandy Bots 2. It's Lulu for no reason. <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> Lulu's cool. This is the scary one. What are you doing? Nothing. He's got one minute to get through this maze or he dies. And mm -hmm. he's doing a something? What? That's a good trick. Just save myself a little bit of time. Not much <laughs> time, but just a little bit. You can, you can land on the wall there and then just like skip the whole thing. That's really cool. The speeding up music is... It really gets to you. Yeah. 
very anxiety inducing. So, so there's that grunty switch right there, oh, which is yeah. for that the sarcophagus one. So you really don't want to have to do that one to begin with. So yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna try after we finish and see if it's maybe loaded or something. Maybe there's something different about the yeah Xbox version. Are you able to go back into the maze without it like starting the timer again? Like maybe you're able to just run through it I, now. I don't know. Let me let me grab this guy just in case uh, it kills us. That's a good idea. Anything here? Oh yeah, skull in a pot. <laughs> I guess it's appropriate. Pot, skull, wine thing. <laughs> What is I'm, your... I'm really solidifying myself as the stupid one. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can do it again. I believe. You got an exit right here if you run out of time, so. Yeah, I guess that's true. No, you know what? No. <laughs> I'm doing it the hard way. Yeah. Doing things the hard way. Do you ever play VVVVV? I did play. I didn't like beat it or anything, but I played a little bit of it. I I got that one achievement, the doing things the hard way. What? It was very satisfying. I bet. It took me like forever. But, <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, there is a. Uh, it, it's just an achievement. I don't think there's any like actual point to it other than bragging rights. Um. But uh. It's it, it, like the the whole game consists of you like not being able to jump and you have to like flip and reverse gravity. Yeah, it's a platformer, a 2D platformer in which your m movement is just move left and right and flip gravity and it is the difficulty is pretty steep. Um, and there's like a section where you have to find these little like orb things for achievements and there's an orb right next to you and uh, there's like a small little like platform like step up that you would need to do but you can't jump or anything so you have to go through this like 10 screen long you know maze of death just to hit the thing and it's feels very satisfying when you finally do it Oof. okay we already did that that sounds like the sort of thing that would take a very long time to do yeah hey who's that over there looks like a friend yeah i'm just now realizing i called the little anubis guys goby oh it's yeah not goby eh Who's gonna call you on it? Nice. <laughs> I did not think that was gonna work. <laughs> I'm like, we're a little low health. Hey. That's Gobi. There you go. Here's your reward, Bear. Gobi's off to cool down. Mm -mm. How are you doing on Jiggies in this level now? Four. Yes, All right. Making good progress. Um, so both this and Freeze Easy, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna have to visit twice. That's right. There's certain jiggies we can't get first try. Yeah. We need new powers. We need new powers. That's fine. This is the only segment of the game, like, uh, these two levels that you basically have to. Bubble Group would be included in that, but because we did the, um, Crocodile Hard version, uh, we don't need to. Yep. Um... So imagine doing this, but in every single level, multiple times <laughs> in Banjo 2. Can you imagine that being a thing? Like, I don't even think you complete the first level. Really? You, you can't complete the first level in Banjo 2 for a while. And it's it's like so unsatisfying. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I, I can't figure out why that bot would bother me, but it kind of does a little. Like, I, I like it better at being just on occasion here. You want some spit, Dan? <laughs> That's... Boy, <laughs> there goes our G rating. This is everyone after COVID. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whoa, <laughs> stretched tree. Yeah. <laughs> you, got, you got it nice and tall. It looks way less comfortable. Yeah, it, he looks just like... It looks like he's, he's being measured against the door. <laughs> it's like when you are trying to like hold in your breath to like... Make yourself your your chest look bigger, you know. Yeah, 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 very much. <laughs> Sucking in the tree gut. Mm -hmm, the tree gut. <laughs> like after this, he just goes Ugh, and just like relaxes. Whoa. That'd be great. Yep. Be a good little bit. <laughs> Is there a? What's no, your favorite okay. level in this game? Favorite level? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know the answer to this either. I'm just I was curious if you had one. 
oh, there's so many factors because like some I love so much because of the music mm -hmm. or just the look of them, but yeah. like you know some of the puzzles or challenges aren't as interesting as other levels. I would say. I feel like it's just Click Clock Wood. I feel like Click Clock Wood might be one of my favorites too. I've, I wanted to see it on revisit to see yeah. how it uh, how it hits me. It's definitely the hardest. Yeah, for sure. And then it is punishing if you mess up, especially on the N64. But I think, yeah, gosh, when it doesn't remember the amount of uh, notes you've collected if you die. But yeah, I, and I think that level is long enough that Dan and I are going to split it up. Yeah, <laughs> like I'll take half of it, he'll take half of it. Uh. Yeah, I think that's... Because that'll be a couple episodes for sure. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one, though. I'm trying to think, like, what are the other... I, maybe I can't narrow down what my favorite favorite is, but I can narrow down candidates. Like, mm -hmm. I like... Uh, I like the beach level. Trying to oh, choke over yeah. Nice. Um, the mansion's also really good. Mad Monster Mansion's fantastic. Yeah. I think this one's, yeah. There you go. Chincho! I think, I just I just love every level. Um, There's there's a thing about each level that I love, and there's a thing about each level that I, I dislike. I think the <laughs> only one that like sticks out is just like, hey, I don't like being in there is Rusty Bucket Bay. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's rough. <laughs> I'm still curious to see which of us <laughs> Like, gets the hot potato on that one. See me? Because, yeah, that one's got just enough specific parts, or like, specific challenges that are finicky or, like, difficult platforming stuff. It probably wouldn't be that bad now, especially now that, like, notes are remembered. Yeah. <laughs> Having a situation where you, like, died and got a game over and all and the notes you collected having to start over would be like, ugh. Yeah. Not having to, not worrying about notes is nice. Um, also, the, uh, I don't know where my brain went on that one. <laughs> totally, okay. totally lost it. That happens. It was probably really cool and insightful, and we all, you know, looked back on our lives and we're like, I'm a better person because Dan just said that thing. <laughs> You'll just have to watch the rest of the series to see if Dan remembers that incredible thought. It's gone. Head empty. <laughs> now you might be saying, Dan, why aren't you getting these notes? It's easy notes to get, because look how close this timer is. This is actually very close. Oh boy. It is always like that, so I'm like, I'm just gonna make sure I get it. <laughs> we can grab those notes anytime. Even when you're really good and know what you're doing. Oh, look at the face. And smile. <laughs> What's his name? I don't know. Maybe we gotta make one. Looks like I feel, a... I feel confident that the people at Rare had a name. Yeah. And if it's not officially in the game, then it's probably rude. <laughs> I was thinking like an Ernie or something. Ernie, oh. It's like an E name. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think of something like punny, but I can't. Like, um... Rocky? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works. That's better than anything I can get. Like, I'm wanting to work floor into a name somehow. And I can't quite. Uh, Matt? <laughs> there you go. Okay, that's not bad. There you go. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> I was like, there's a pun here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Grab these few little notes. Can't be missing the notes. Can't be missing them. There's none down in the maze, are there? Gosh, I hope not. In the maze, no. It, it's just at the entrance and start. Thank and goodness. All those. Yeah, those. That that one's scary. It's just that grunty switch, though. If you want to go back for it. But we're not gonna. We're gonna do a cool trick, Dan. Yeah. Heck yeah. Or find out it doesn't work and come back here. No. Do the little run of shame through I'll the maze. I'll figure out a new way. Ooh, a new way. A better way. That's even more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Can we like? 
No way. No, nope. I was just curious. <laughs> that really we funny. Could cheese that somehow. <laughs> so that's the thing we have to come back for. Oh, I see. That's right, because that must be like clip in here somewhere down. That was Maybe. No, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> can, we, can we get on this again? I think we need the shoes. Yeah. Gotta have them run in shoes. Uh, we do need the carpet. Actually, is he over there? Uh, I thought I saw... Yeah, there yeah. he is. Okay. Oh, oh it's moving fast. Oh, he did park right there. <laughs> ah. It's like when you're grocery shopping and you you see like a lane open up. Yep. And then yep. the second you leave, <laughs> your lane opens up and then someone cuts ahead of you and they're like, oh, can I use the check? Yeah. And you're like, oh. <laughs> who do I make this up to? Oh, sorry. I spelled it wrong. Let me try that again. <laughs> When's the last time you paid with check for something? And, and not like something that can only be paid with like check or money. Or I haven't written a check for something that I like had the option not to in years and years. I have no clue what mine would be. I would be surprised if I've ever paid for something on a check that I didn't like have to. Yeah, like I... There probably was like a little bit of a stretch like in college or something. Like before, like our late high school to like early college, mm -hmm. when I didn't really wasn't really like having a credit card for regular use. Yeah. But uh, I didn't always have just like a bunch of like enough cash on me for every sort of grocery store run or whatever else that maybe I'd use a check in those circumstances. That's like a grocery store is like the last time I can really remember doing so. I hope I'll never have to again. Yeah. I still have like a checkbook from like when I opened my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have checks from like recent bank accounts I've opened and just like no intention of using them if I can avoid it. Mm -mm -mm. Did you just get like when you got when you got like a book of checks, did you just get sort of like vanilla basic bank ones or did you try to get like little custom fancy little ones? With fun ones. Little, fun you know, I ones? wanted them, but I was like, I. I have no earthly idea how to obtain such things, <laughs> such relics. You remember when the internet didn't exist? <laughs> <laughs> what a time. You just went, I guess I'll never know. Yeah. And that I guess that, I think that's probably what happened is I just, I didn't know how and I didn't ask anyone. So that was it. Yeah. Like remember having to figure out when things came on TV. Oh my gosh. Or having the thought that like, this episode, this season finale of this show that I watch is going to air at this time. And if I don't set aside and schedule this time to do it, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. All of my friends will be talking about it at school yeah. the next day. And I have no idea when it will air again. Like, they'll rerun it, but I won't know when. I remember buying a TV guy, like one of the little tiny TV guides. Oh, yeah. Um,. And I felt like such an adult <laughs> because I was like, I'm going to make sure I'm going to schedule in all the shows that I want to watch. <laughs> I think I just, we, we just got Cartoon Network Ooh. on our cable. And I was like, that's it. It's my time to shine. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else we do flying other than uh, pound that one thing. Which is not an ability you have yet, right? Like the the beak bash or whatever it's called. Yeah. So sh there should only be one Jiggy left, yeah? Yeah, I'm trying to think what all... Oh, it's the Jinjos, because we haven't gone in the water <gasps> right. right there. Right, 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 right. And notes. Question, do you know if the notes stay even if we leave this level? I don't know that because the notes are in that place we can't go to. Oh, well, then I guess we'll find out, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. So either A, Dan's going to do a bit of backtracking at some point, <laughs> or B, uh, we'll go and get those, like, final ten notes. Ooh, 
I'm remembering some of the stuff I'm gonna have to do in the next level and not looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the level. I'm just there's a few challenges that I'm remembering and be like, wait, oh, that. It's gonna be good though. It it's so I I, I love how this game like I can't decide on my favorite thing. Isn't that kind of nice? Yeah, like not being able to pick a favorite, even though like it's not that like we adore every single aspect of the game. It's just that not it's all together is such a nice thing. Yeah. And there there's there's tough challenges in each level, like I, maybe except for like Mumbo's Mountain. You yeah, know? yeah, that one's a pretty good oh. like introduction to the sorts of stuff you need to do. It's so small and compact. Yeah. Cause like Treasure Trove Crove has like snacker stuff, and I, I remember as a kid that was always like, oh, I don't want to go in the water because it's snacker or whatever is. Is it snacker? Snacker is the. It uh, sounds like the. the it sounds like the name right? of the shark. All right, this will be. This will be where we learn. All right, moment of truth where Dan ignores health <laughs> for no reason. The boots are right there. Nope, we don't need we don't need health where we're going. <laughs> These mummies are gonna kill you. Ah, great escape. <laughs> it's 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 right. It. It's right. It's right on the joystick for the thing. <laughs> no one saw that. Everyone look away. <laughs> Dan doesn't take the enemy seriously in Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> well, have you looked at them? Look at their dumb faces. Okay, yeah, it's it's right on the, the, the joystick when you uh, want to do that. Just, uh, Noted. I'll do that by accident. There. That's, Plenty just, of times. that's just for revenge. Okay, and here's for for victory. Here you go. Get it! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Come on. Rare. Microsoft. You dare patch out our fun? All right, Google. Answer me this. Did they patch out the Gobi Coffin early <laughs> trick? <laughs> It's buck wild to me that this is a thing that got changed. Surely. Because it's like... I wouldn't have even attempted it if it was something, like, hard to do. But it is literally like, you just walk up to it. The fact that it is giving you so much difficulty kind of makes me think that it's not... That it's not, uh... There anymore. I'm trying to we, find it. We didn't it. get this last time, did we? I don't think so. No, because I haven't even summoned the switch yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, my very weak Googling right now is turning out nothing. You might have to just go hit the switch. No, Dan. <laughs> think of think of all the time we're saving by testing this out. <laughs> and we're providing a valuable service for everyone else. Yeah. Hey, if you play banjo on the what's this system called the xbox series x technically but it's like emulating the 360 <laughs> effectively it's, i can't believe this i can't believe it dan <laughs> my the, day is ruined the two things microsoft changed another three things one they made it so where notes are remembered when you die two they made it so that the microsoft logos in the intro <laughs> for whatever reason Three, they stole wow. Dan's fun. They stole my fun. No fun allowed. No fun allowed here. Not in this desert environment. Ooh, what's in there? Hey, look what you found there. Oh, I'll accept it. <laughs> All right. Um, you're, I think I think you're up, yeah? Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, here, we'll go ahead and call it a day, and uh, we'll see you all next week for a different level. And then, I don't remember when we get the ability that you need to finish Gobi's Valley, but we'll, we'll go back to it and finish that up when we got everything we need. Sound good, everyone? See you later! Goodbye!
Thank you.